Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. Okay, this is my I can't stop thinking about the collective card. Um, fond memories of you. They realize that they're never going to have the kind of love that you gave them from anybody ever again. This is unconditional love. You were always there for this person. You know, I feel like you both felt the same way about them, you know, or the same way about each other. They were very happy with you. And this person was actually very immature. Okay, they did whatever they wanted to do. They didn't think there would be any consequences. They made some impulsive moves. They could have had in and out energy. This person just, they, they, um, it's, they were playing checkers when, when really it was chess, right? Uh, yeah, playing little games. You know, now... Three years later, or however long it could have been, three or four years that you guys have been in separation, right now they've, they've grown, okay? Now they, they realize that um, they turned their back on the one that they wanted. This person could have entertained other people as well. You know, usually when I look at this card, I see two wands behind them, but in, I mean, it, um, any three of wands, right? But in this depiction, there's two wands in front of them. So I know this person was dealing with somebody else um, and playing games with you. But now looking back on things, right, after they've grown, but had some time in separation, now this person can't get you off of their mind. You know, now they may want to commit, okay? But now there may be some competition in this. I feel like this person is getting some tarot card readings or listening or watching tarot on YouTube. They're finding some things out about you because, see, that many years in separation, you're kind of living your own life now. You know, the, the you spend years in separation and it, you both start living your own life, okay? They got to do whatever they wanted to do and now it's your turn to start living you know, and I feel like you're about to get new love. They're about to get some competition in this. You're not going to be sitting around waiting for this person to grow up forever. Okay, and they're realizing here they could have had the two of cups. And whoever they entertained other than you, Collective, I've got three cups laying here. No, it, nothing turned out the way they thought it would. Okay, uh, I feel like they just wanted to play games and have a little fun and they ended up getting hurt or they ended up being betrayed or I, I don't know. I feel like um, this person learned a lesson from the other people that they got with. I feel like they were only chasing after um, the next best thing or going after people that were maybe vulnerable or going after karmic individuals, okay? But your soulmate connection, see, this is why they're in sorrow. They're thinking about what they lost, what they left behind them, what they turned their back on. See, they turned their back on you here, and they turned their back on you, on you here. So, yeah, they're watching readings now in a lot of regret, okay? This is a lot of regret for, for turning their back on you. Playing, playing a, a little kid games with you, playing around, right? Now you're getting this new love. They've got some competition. They're getting tarot card readings, finding out about you and what you're doing in your life now, okay? Because this person, they just left you behind like you were nothing, okay? Maybe at one point, too, this person may have once thought that they were better than you. You know, maybe this person was very materialistic, wanted some flashy things, right? And now look at you. Yeah, I feel like they underestimated you, Collective, and you are divinely led. You're coming out here with an earth, either in earth angel energy or you're being protected and led by, by angels, okay? By the divine. 
I feel like you've been manifesting new love. Okay, the temperance angel, she's dipping her toe in the water. She's ready to try something new. And you have new love coming in. Your manifestations are coming in all over the place. You're, look at how abundant you are. Um, you may have started a creative project. Maybe at one point they thought it was silly. And now look at how successful it is. Uh, maybe you've been working really hard, climbing that ladder of success, right? Getting promotions and bonuses and raises along the way. I feel like you're very independent, you're very abundant, you're very successful, you're beautiful here, you're smart, you're driven, you're motivated, you're dedicated, and you're divinely led. And you're in earth angel energy, and you're open to receive new blessings right now, and they're coming in, and they're being told that by a tarot card reader, or a spiritualist, or someone who has psychic abilities. You could even be a tarot card reader, okay, who's become very successful. I feel like no matter what it is that you're doing, collective, you're very masterful at what you do, okay? <clears throat> yeah, and they're seeing this now. At one point, they thought they were better than you. It looks, like, it looks to me like you've got more pentacles than them, and now they're in a whole lot of regret. Not only were you extremely loving, there for them, very nurturing. You gave them unconditional love, probably very peaceful, gentle, calm, giving, caring. And they're losing you. They turn their back on you. Knight of Pentacles energy. Now they want to come back in, but see, here's the thing. With the wand in their hand here, and how they're sitting here, look at, like thinking about you, longing for you, thinking about this. I've got four wands total here, right? Three in this picture, one in this one. Um, that's a reunion. That's the wanting a reunion. They want to get back together. Okay, they've grown. They want to get back together, and here they come. But it's been too long. It's been up to three or four years that this person hasn't budged. They've been out chasing other things that ended in shambles. Now they want to come in and try to heal this with you. But here's the thing. You've grown. You've healed. You've healed yourself. You know? You worked on yourself. You put in the effort. You're backed by the universe here. You're very balanced, very stable. You're not in your emotions anymore over this person. You're manifesting new things. You've been working hard on yourself. And now you're entering into a new cycle. You're stepping through a big portal here. You see that? Wrapped in intuition, all of this purple, connected to the divine. I feel like you're protected by um, Archangel Michael. And I feel like, uh, yeah, you're starting new things. This is you closing out a cycle. And this person is feeling like a fool. They're getting all of this information from a spiritualist. I feel like they're listening to tarot. If you're a tarot card reader in the public eye with your own platform, they're watching you. Everything you post, um, they're watching, okay? Whether you have this person blocked or not, they, I feel like they've found a way to watch what you're doing. But yeah, they missed out. They're realizing they're a fool. They're a fool for missing out on the world and the empress and the minor arcana and a blessing in love and an earth angel. Yeah, they're feeling like an idiot now. But, uh, you know, whether you're a reader or they're getting tarot card readings, they are getting the inside scoop about you in that way. Okay, so take it how it resonates with you. But, yeah, they want to talk, okay? I feel like, though, you're also about to meet someone new. And when you do, I feel like this new person is going to, they're going to want to take it slow. 
but they're going to end up, you'll end up falling in love with someone new. I mean, a love like yours needs to be reciprocated, and the universe has seen all your effort already. You're ready for new love. Yeah, this person doesn't know what to do. They shouldn't have juggled. It's all the truth. You are about to get someone new, collective. You're about to meet somebody new here, and they're about to not at all be able to compete, okay? Because of all that they've done and how long it took them to write it, you know, write their wrongs. Yeah, they know it, too. They know it. You're about to, look, you're about to get uh, ultimate wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be in a commitment with someone else by the time this person comes around. That's what they're thinking. And it may be true. You may have already met someone new. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo, Aries energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about this. Look at how burdened they are. This person's in love with you. This player has turned into um, a, an emotional mess over you, actually. You know, nine of swords, ten of wands, that's a lot of burdens, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sadness, a lot of pent-up emotions that they're keeping inside, you know. But I feel like their player days are over. They want you back now. This person, I feel like they've grown and they want to get serious. But you're walking away. You've made a decision. You know what? There's been no communication. It's time for you to start living your life. For real. You could be a Gemini. Let's see how they're feeling. Yeah, you could have this person blocked. Maybe you recently blocked them to walk away, and they're very emotional about that. This person can't sleep at night. They're having nightmares about this. They're uh, feeling very stuck. They may feel like they don't, they don't stand a chance, right, after everything that they've done. They may feel like they need a miracle. They need a miracle in order to get you back. It's going to take a miracle. They're mad at themselves. They're mad. They're sad. They're crying. They're suffering a huge loss here. And But here's the thing, though. They blame themselves because they've grown. They've grown collective. I feel like this person could have been um, maybe expecting or waiting for you to talk to them. But honestly, I'm just getting that this person really didn't care. You know, at the time when you were with them, they didn't see the value in your love. You know, they just wanted to play a little game. And now they're realizing they're truly in love with you. Like, I, you know, they're ashamed of themselves. They're ashamed they may feel unworthy of you at this point. You know, this person that w they once thought they were better than you, or, you know, um, you weren't flashy enough for them, something like that. Now they may feel unworthy. All right, so how else does this person feel currently? They're going through... Um, some, it feels like chaos because, you know, on one hand, they're angry with themselves. They could even be walking around like punching walls and sobbing at the same time. Okay? Um, really, really intense sadness and anger. Frustration. Yeah, because they realize they're in love with you, but too much time has passed. And you're moving on. 
and you could have this person blocked. They could be experiencing some headaches. This person, they may start um, feeling very depleted. They're not sleeping at all, so I know they're exhausted, but they, they could be starting to get like gray, turn gray. They're, they're very pressed for time here. They know too much time has passed. They just know too much. Yep, see, they're praying for that miracle. Okay. Praying for some kind of miracle. I feel like you don't care if they're praying for a miracle or not. I feel like you've already made your mind up. You're not communicating with this person and you're moving on. This, they may even want to write you a letter or this could be them also, um, you know, I'm seeing somebody texting someone but then deleting it. So they may be trying to figure out what to say to you. Is there, I feel like they're going to test the waters with a text message. Just to see if you still have them blocked or if you will answer them. Okay, so be expecting a text message. Yeah, they, and honestly, because they're too afraid to approach you because they think that you hate them right now. They think that you're... Um, too bitter to approach after what they've done and how how long ago this happened, you know. But they are longing for you here. They may even be um, looking at your photos. Maybe they're watching your posts on social media or on the internet. They're just really sad. They're they're thinking about all that they lost here by acting like a fool. So yeah, they're gonna send you some kind of text message. They may even send you a letter just to see if, um, if you will talk to them because it doesn't look like you're, you wanna talk, okay? Yeah, they're, they're desperate. They're feeling desperate. They're, I feel like this person is desperate for answers, desperate for clues about how you feel about them. Okay, so they're, they're watching a lot of tarot readings on YouTube. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They're so desperate for information on, on you to try to see how you feel. Do you have any love for them? You know, I, and I feel like, um, I just feel like you're standing your ground. You're determined to move past this. And um, you're, focus you're focusing on living your life again and, and new love to come in. Um, yeah, and the more they see in tarot or uh, find out about through tarot, the more desperate this person feels. Because they're in love with you. That much they're admitting. They're admitting to themselves they're in love with you. That's why they're angry and crying, okay? Pitching a fit. They're having a hissy fit. They're having a major hissy fit because they're losing you because they were, they acted foolishly. Yeah, let's see what they have to say, okay? What does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? What do they want to say to my collective? I'm going to move this deck, sorry. All right, what does this person want to say? I hope the future will bring us together. That one wanted to come out. I was selfish and immature. Yeah, please forgive me. That's exactly what this was. I was selfish and immature. Page of Wands, right? But this person has grown during separation. Now they realize how mature, how immature they they really were. Okay. How does this? What does this person want to say to my collective? I'm I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. 
I wish you would knock on my door. Like, yeah, because they're afraid to approach you now. I fear you because they fear you will never forgive them. Yeah, I fear you will never forgive me. But no one makes me feel the way you do. You're the best I ever had. I feel like this is you. I never want to see you again. You hurt me. Or that may be how they think that you're going to be. Okay? Take it how it resonates. No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. I hope to have a future with you one day. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. Yeah, trust is a huge issue. Anyway, Collective, that's what I have for this reading. Um, well, wait a minute, though. It feels very incomplete. Uh, I want to see if this person, what kind of action are they going to take? Because right now they're just praying for a miracle. Okay. What action are they actually going to take? They're watching you. Move on. Yep. And you're taking the Ten of Pentacles with them. That's ultimate wish fulfillment. You could be making a whole lot of money right now. Two other feminine energies in the picture here. And the High Priestess. This person could be getting some warnings through tarot as well that they may need to cut some other people out. Yeah, because they're juggling and playing. They could have been playing other people as well behind the scenes. I feel like they're getting they're getting warnings through listening to tarot or getting tarot card readings um, that they need to cut two other people out before they come towards you. They need to stop playing other people, okay? They cannot come in juggling and they can't come in with that wand. Um, yeah, they're about to take some kind of action here. I feel like they're going to be cutting these two out. They've been, um, they've also been playing around with a queen of swords and a queen of wands, okay? Maybe an air sign and a fire sign. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Cancer. Or a Cancer, Pisces, maybe Taurus. Yeah, they're about to communicate with you. This person's in love with you. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. Just keep your boundaries up, though, because I feel like this person was playing around. Sorry about that, Collective. My battery died. Um, I was just saying, be careful. Use your intuition. Um, maybe um, keep your boundaries up because this person, they have been playing other people as well, juggling two other people in the background. And this person may even have an STD. That's not for all of you. It's for some of you, though. Maybe someone. You could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius, or you could be. I'm also getting the feeling like... Um, I could be talking to someone out here who's celibate, celibate not, um, not engaging in anything um, lustful, right? Yeah, I feel like that's you're not about the wand. You're about the love. Yeah, you see this person in toxic energy. Here's the thing, Collective. They are going to reach out to you, but, you know... <sighs> Getting you to trust them again will seriously take a miracle. I, 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 I got to say, they're praying for a miracle here. That's, I feel like that's what it's going to take, especially if you feel like this person is um, still being out here being a player. Yeah, they probably won't stand a chance because that's not what you're about. And I feel like you're going to be protecting everything that you've created because you're in this nine of pentacles energy that's a lot of success possibly a lot of money coming to you 
for all the seeds that you planted before. So I feel like you're in the, like protective mode here. It just is giving me this protective energy off of you. All right. So yeah, I feel like um, they are going to talk. You're going to hear from this person. It could be a simple text message. It could be a letter, maybe even a phone call. Um, but I feel like in order to get you back and gain your trust back again, it will take a miracle. 